got Don's dance set up. Good thing I'm not the pianist in this relationship. I absolutely love the way the stain comes out. And it's such a like happy little accident. Like this color wasn't really on our radar. I love this part of the bowl where we get to like be creative with things. If you're new to the channel, a word we don't use nearly enough is to make sure you know that we're amateur builders. That's it? Shake poles. No. <laughs> you just think treats, treats, treats in your hand, huh? I don't have treats. We have Irish Spring soap in the bus to help keep mice away. And we don't use any scented soaps or detergents or anything. This thing's been sitting on it all weekend and it stinks. <laughs> stinks like soap. Today, we're getting started on this multi-step process. Of my desk. What's the verdict? Looks Alive. good. So we just stopped in the middle of putting this desk together and decided it's a custom space. It's a custom build. Let's learn the ergonomics and build it exactly to not only my body, but also the chair that we'll be using. So we're not using like a regular chair. We're using a piece of Pilates apparatus. It's called the Wunder Chair. And Joseph Pilates was kind of cool. He created apparatus you could work out on, but some of it he also designed to be like furniture in your home that could turn into something you work out on. It's actually pretty comfortable and really well designed. So we've already got a space for it to stay next to the bed, uh, as this will be the bedroom slash Pilates studio. For my desk, I figured, why not just reuse that chair instead of having even more furniture back here? I should be able to just pull it over to the side. So we had to measure how high my seat was on that chair, how high my feet were on that chair, how high my elbows were. We used a couple different calculators. Of course, one of them had a guy with some hair on it, so I <laughs> took his hair off. And after a little tweaking, I think we've got some numbers that should be ergonomic to my body. So we're gonna adjust the height of the desk about an inch and what, a half? And then continue on. I don't actually own the equipment that I'm gonna be putting into place in my studio slash office area. So I'm just estimating from the specs and I wanna be able to be flexible. The uh... unsquare things. Yeah. Do you should we get a scribe then and uh, scribe it out? Yeah. I think it's doable. It's not perfect. It's not quite. Still a little gap. As with everything in this bus world, it's taking a little finessing to make it nice and snug against all the odd shapes and sizes in the bus. All right, moment of truth. Third time's a charm. Is this the third time we cut it? Yeah. Maybe we should go cut this out because it's not going to go there because it's hitting here. 
That's acceptable. Oh, much better. It's nice and close. All right, now we gotta measure the next piece. Yep. So now we've got the rest of the desk that goes into the shelving area. And it's an odd size because as you see, nothing is square. It's like 17 and 7 eighths in the front, 17 and a half in the back. Buddy, how you doing? He always shows up at sewing hey, time, doesn't he? Say hi to the camera. Say hi up here. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Can you shake? Can you shake? I don't think he's got that kind of training. Sit. There you go. Can you shake? <laughs> he doesn't know how to shake. Sit. Shake balls. No. <laughs> you just think treats, treats, treats in your hand, huh? I don't have treats. Okay, Mo Molly won't come play because she doesn't like the sole, so we'll just have to wait, okay? Wait till he's done sewing and then I'll let everybody know you're here. It's 86.5 degree angles. Go together now. Too snug? Yeah. I can see it all painted from above. Looking back on it all. I feel like we probably got anything done today. You feel like we probably got anything done? Yes. If you're new to the channel, a word we don't use nearly enough is to make sure you know that we're amateur builders. So I sanded down all the wood as you always should before you stain. I also rounded the corners of the desk up a little bit just to make sure we had a bit of a smooth finish because I'm sure we're gonna bump into the desk at some point. It's a small space. I'm clumsy. And now I'm gonna stain. I don't know what it means, but there's a smile upon your face. And I see something shimmering in your eyes. And they say if you want a glimpse, the future you need space. In the last video you saw me standing, there were a few comments supposed to use rags with stain and wipe it off. Well, the reason is that this stain that we got, um, in this espresso satin color, is a stain and a finish in one. And the instructions say you should put it on with a paintbrush and then go again over at the end to take off any excess with the paintbrush. I assume you don't use rags because it has a finish in it and you don't want to be wiping off the finish. You just want to use a paintbrush. So that's why people. You may be asking us, why are we making such a huge desk for a small space? Well, there's gonna be two work areas, and we keep referring to this as Don's desk because basically it's gonna be his music studio. And it has to be big because it has to fit his keyboard um, on it so he can play and make music in the back of the bus. And we'll have another computer set up in the front of the bus. So we wanted two spaces so we could both work at the same time, and this one is specifically designed as his music studio. I absolutely love the way the stain comes out and it's such a like happy little accident like this color wasn't really on our radar at all we just knew we wanted some kind of bondwood trim and when we found that bondwood trim we were like oh my god this color is amazing it looks so good against white and we went with it I love this part of the bold where we get to like be creative with things and I love just letting things kind of fall into your lap because it's becoming so much better than it had originally imagined it to look. So I flip the discs over here to stay on the other side. 
we have to head out and go buy some things for Don's parents' 50th wedding anniversary. I think that's pretty awesome. 50 years, guys. So we're gonna go buy some food and champagne and flowers and have a little celebration with them. go get ready for that party and I'll be back tomorrow for more staining. It is nice and sunny and springy and that means more outside time for the cats. The cats are loving the outdoor adventures. They're really far into the woods today. If you're new to the channel, we uh, have leashes on them so that they would never want to be outside without their leashes. That's the training anyway. Come on, Mrs. Sweet, we gotta go home. Let's go home. We trained our cats to uh, follow us when we whistle, which works when we want to go out and explore, but to get them to follow us home is the more challenging part because they're having so much fun. Come on, Tissy Cato. She's taking her own route home. <laughs> Not looking back, eyes on the freeway, Bonnie and Clyde. A classic cliche, we're on the run. This is what we waited for. That's a good boy. Good job, big boy. <laughs> I uh, decided to do a second coat on Don's desk because what I'm using is a stain and finish in one and while I like the color after one coat it wasn't enough finish and the can said to do two coats and I thought okay it should be fine then with two coats and it made it a lot darker. I should have done a test first. Don's not happy with it. I'm really bummed because I wanted to make it nice for him. But it's lost some of its character. You can see like up here there's still a little bit of warmth coming through. That's kind of the look we want but a lot of it just looks really really dark. So I'm bummed and I'm gonna try and fix it. And there is a thunderstorm coming soon, so I better be quick because it's already starting to rain. I am going to do a little test in the corner of this smaller piece because there's going to be things in front of it that's never actually going to be seen. I'm going to sand it down so that you can start to see the patterns again in the wood. And then I'm going to try putting some rooibos tea homemade stain um, onto it and the lighter pieces of wood I hope will be warmed up and we'll see what that looks like. So I guess I learned that a stain and finish in one is great because it helps you cut corners but you can't quite control the stain color as well as if you do a separate stain and finish. I better get back into the house. Um, I don't know, it's definitely going to look different with the robust tea than the trim work we did so I'm not sure. I am back out here working on the desk some more. We decided that the Roy Boss tea stain was going to give it a very different look. We went crazy about it and pretty much going to start again. <laughs> so I'm going to use our new sander and just sand it down, take all that stain off. Sander left some sort of rough marks on it, so I'm going to 
fine sand it down so that it has a smoother finish. Well, that took quite a while to do, but it looks really good. It's got a nice smooth finish now. The corners are nice and rounded. There's no ridges left from the harshness of the felt sander. And once it's done, this desk is going to look beautiful. I promise you. All right, that should help you a little bit. Yay, thank you, baby. <laughs> You're welcome. It gets hot in here quick. And then I'm going to do just one coat of the espresso stain, and then I'll just put a clear finish on top of it after that so that we can get the color we want. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Let's go get Dawn. Come see. See, it's dry up on this side. Let's see what that looks like. Are you gonna put the clear? Yeah, but I gotta wait until put for it to dry. Yeah, that's so much better. What do you think? Yes, I just want you to be happy. <laughs> it is time to put the finishing coat on the desk and be done with it. Yesterday it was really hot out here in this little tent. Today it's really cold. Spring is so weird here. The weather just flip flops back and forth, but I'm trying to embrace it because before too long the summer humidity will be here. <laughs> the desk is looking great colors are awesome the finish looks good I am gonna do a second coat today but I had to bring it inside I've put it downstairs in the basement in a, a storage because it is below freezing today <laughs> it's really cold so last night we decided we should bring it inside because it's not good to stain and finish things in temps below like about 50 degrees I think and it's it's way colder outside but I want to finish this desk so I'm gonna give it its last coat and finally be done with it I'm not so worried about doing this part inside because uh, the finish that I'm using is actually uh, non-toxic it's the same finish that I used on a compost toilet So for the left side of my desk, we decided to use the same kind of structure that I used in my last desk, which is piping. It's super strong, it's metal, and it should support all the weight on that one side of the desk. And now I just gotta assemble it, see what it looks like. All right, we need to make pocket holes in the desk. Do you have glasses? It's level to the shelf. It looks nice. Yeah, it looks really nice. setup. We measured it to fit down in here, which was the plan. Now we want to make sure that it actually fits in the right spot. I really love how my desk turned out. Noah did a great job on it. It feels nice and solid and it's going to be able to do everything I wanted. So most of this will probably look familiar. I've got a computer keyboard, a trackpad, a music keyboard, a monitor here, which will be mounted on the wall. 
Now this is something I haven't figured out yet. I want to have it to be able to mount it as close to the wall as possible, but then pull it, move it around quite a bit so that we can use it as a place to watch movies, laying in bed. If anybody has any recommendations for TV or monitor mounts that have that kind of flexibility, please let me know. Now I've been writing music for about 20 years for commercials, TV, I've even done some movie trailers. So this is very mandatory for me to be able to live and work in the bus. And the heart of it here is a decked out computer system that's made specifically for music that I put together myself. This box is my music studio and it might look like a computer server, but that's because basically it is. Most of the music I work on is inside the computer. If you're interested in this computer setup that I use for composing music, I have a video on my other YouTube channel where I go through this mobile studio that I built in detail. Now this is just the basics of how I'm going to have things set up. There's still quite a few more little bells and whistles that I need to put together or figure out what I'm going to be using. This area here, we'll keep you informed on that as we're able to acquire the things we want to put in this area of shelving slash desk space. So I made this desk all beautiful after all that hard work. And now Don is gonna go cut a hole in the back corner of it. But it's for a good reason. It's because we're gonna be installing our mini split and the pipes need to go down there. But I'll share that with you next time. I got like five, ten odd jobs, little bitty pains in the butts things to do before we can move on to accomplishing something that would actually look like we did any work. So I'm going to try to knock out some of those right now. As with everything in the bus, it's taking a little finessing to make it fit nice and slot. slug. Coming! Right now in the house is pretty much the same, but smaller, I mean, no. The bus, the bus, I really can't speak anymore. It's past work time, it's past wine o'clock. There's <laughs> so much sawdust. <laughs> this poor camera, it's taking a beating. We're gonna have a keyboard, a trackpad, a computer, keyboard to play some music. <laughs> what? You said that. <laughs> That's not a computer keyboard. <laughs> Shady Ray keeps texting me. Oh, yeah? Trying to get me to buy sunglasses. <laughs> Let's get this. Make them like this. I can see you in the reflection. Just... <laughs> <laughs>